Hello everybody, welcome back to the craft room. What I come on today is I'm making some envelopes and I thought I'd just slip the camera on. Um, and these can be for pouches, you can put them in your journaling or something. But I thought I did make a few and I just put them in for the monthly giveaway. I just put it in the envelope. So... Um, this piece was just pieces of scrap. I just pulled out my scrap box. So this measures eight and a half by eight inches. And I'm going to score it at four inches because that's the middle. And then a half an inch. And then I'm going to turn it so this is the bottom. And I want half an inch at the bottom and then at the top I'm going to turn it this way and this is going to be the top because it's diagonal paper I'm going to score an inch this is for this one and then I'm just going to fold and burnish that's pretty size too I like this size so I'm going to keep it this way fold and burnish all these Four lines. And then that one, then that one. And do that one. And then on the bottom piece, oh, that's itchy side. On this bottom piece, you've got to just a little square, and I'm going to just cut that to an angle and cut that out at an angle and cut it away and then on the top I'm going to do the same cut it at an angle and cut this piece at an angle and cut that off you'll need that piece so it look like that and on the bottom piece cut that at an angle and cut this long piece away right and above your score line Cut it right off. Developed if I had longer scissors, but I do So you've got that. I'm leaving the scoreboard there because I've got a couple to do. So you've got that. And on this side, the top, you're going to cut the first piece away, but cut it under your score line. So you're cutting your score line right away. I'm going to cut it right out. Because it's going to fold it better then. And you're going to cut that at an angle. And then when it folds, that'll fold there. That'll fold there. So you need to take a little piece off this side. And get the longer scissors. So it'll fold neatly into your, well, just a little wedge off the side. So it'll fold neatly into your score line. So there you go, it'll fold it flat. And then that'll come up and that's your top. Okay, but before I do that, what I want to do is to make a hole in this top part and I'm going to judge the center and pop it in to there and I'm going to go down to about there I think so let's see how far this will go to make sure let's get me pencil that's gonna line up with that to there so put my finger in as far as it'll go so it won't go right down to there, so 
maybe go that way in. Nope, it won't go that way. It's only going to go into there. Um, over a little bit. Um, cut the knoll in there. That's okay. Then I cut out some circles somewhere. There they are. And I'm going to layer these on top of one another to make them a bit thicker. I'm going to put about four on top of one another. Don't glue into the center. One. Two. That's three. And then before I put the fourth one on, I'm going to get the edge end of the string. into the that one and I sandwich that in put some more glue onto there and sandwich that in like so okay and then I'm gonna roughly get that into the center and punch a hole and go through it. Maybe get a crocodile. Maybe get the crocodile. I should go through there then. Bigger one, go to the smaller one. Mm. That's better. And then I got these little, like flowers, brats. If I could get them off. I'm going to pop him in there, like so, and pop it into the top one, like that, and do the same to the bottom one. I'm going to add some On top of one another, one, two, three, five on this one and five on that one roughly center that roughly in the center punch a hole And my other brad in mm -hmm. put the brad in there mm -hmm. 
that off and then we'll glue these down now pop the glue on there into that one glue on the bottom piece like that and you can fold it in uh, on it and then you've got one envelope like so that's cute. So that's one envelope. Put the pin back in there. And I got another piece of paper. This is a smaller one. Let's do a see what this piece is. I don't know. This is just all bits of what was in my box. This is a bit small, but I hope. This is 12 inches by 4 inches, so half it is 6, so we want half an inch to fold, so that will be half an inch there to fold, to glue. Yeah. So we want this to fold in half. Like so. That'll do like that way. Then half an inch for the bottom. That's the way. Half an inch for the bottom to glue up. And we do an inch to the top. This will be just a little envelope. And do the same. Cut a little wedge. Cut it off. And a wedge. Cut that piece off. And then this piece here, cut that to a wedge. I'm going to cut this piece right off above your score line. Like so. Wedge that out. I can see the. That's okay. I cut that to a wedge, and then you're going to cut this out under your score line. And I'm going to dress trim a little edge off the bottom, off the side of me. And then you've got this cute little envelope, and then you put some glue on there, and it comes out, Jane. Put some glue on there, and then on the side, fold that up. Hold your side up first. 
your bottom up first, then your side, and then that's your base of your envelope. And you glue in. And there's your envelope. And then I got a sticky label to go on the front. Like that. And then I got some sticky little roses. one on there and that's another little envelope that's cute so that's another one what else we got here I don't know what this is this is a six by six so we'll do where's the thing do you want half an inch for your seam this is a different paper, half an inch, and then fold it to your score line. See me measuring. <laughs> there you go. And then to your bottom, half an inch, and we'll do a one and a half fold over like so and get the bone folder crease all your fold lines the score lines I should say and you're going to cut this little corner off wedge him out and then this top piece, wedge it, wedge it from the top, and cut that out. Cut this top piece under your score line, or over your score line, and wedge it out from the top. Under your score line. Or over your score line and wedge that bottom piece out and you've got that and then this gets folded in and put some glue on there your bottom up put your side in before I glue that in I'm gonna make a circle punch I'll put my circle punch in and just take a piece out there. Put that down and then run your squishy glue down. And then you've got another little envelope like so. I mean, you could do another label on there if you wish, but I'm going to leave it like that. That's cute. And what's this piece? This is a bigger piece. This is an eight and a half piece by six. There you go. So we can score it at four and at eight. Um, half an inch. Um, oh, we, 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 we scored it at five. Go 
open burnish all these. Up here, no look. And then cut your little square out to a tab. Match that out. Cut your top piece out. Match them out. And then cut the bottom piece over your score line. Cut your score line right away. And then tap that out. So, and then spread your off the top, and then cut away from your score line and cut this piece right off. And if that's not going to fit, so just cut a wedge, just cut a little strip off your side. Just help say fold, fold neatly. Like so. Before I glue that down, we'll make a little punch. Like so. Okay. And with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little hole by here and then I'm going to go in Again, I want to do. Let's see if I can go in with this one. There you go. Oh, I didn't have wrong. Shoot, 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 shoot. I have to put one in this side as well. No. And let me put and mark that as well then. Get out. Get out. And put a hole in this side as well. Let's glue that all that together. Oh, glue on there. Cut that down. Put your side in. And your bottom. And then get your Wizards, that wizard got in the way there, and then a little bow by there, like that. That's cute. There you go. And 
I'm going to put a label on this one. Right there. Like so. Rules by there. And they've got that different one. So let me put that right there. You got that one? We have this little one, little coin one. And we have this longer one, the long one. Like so. And then we have this one and we tie it like so and I'm gonna put the some all in that one like so so I hope you like them and you give them a go easy to do I'll do just scraps of paper use any size you want to and you could stick these in your little journals, stick them in that way, put your little cards in there or something. Put it in your journals, put it in that way and put your journaling cards in there or whatever. So hope you like that. Give them a go. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and I'll speak to you on the next video. So bye for now, thanks for watching, bye.